Hey, Ian, I, I'm wondering uh, how how you how difficult the physical side of rehabbing this injury has been. Yeah, it's uh, been a lot of ups and downs, especially given the past you know year and you know what's going on inside the ring. But uh, yeah, what what have you had to do physically to rehab the injury? Uh, a lot of it's just making sure that things are aligned properly and strengthened. Uh, a lot of it was just making sure things fire in the right order. Uh, and then obviously a few growing issues along the way, but uh, those, uh, I've dealt with those before. So, yeah. Toughest part of it in the last year and a half, the mental side of it, staying uh, inside the game of hockey? Yeah, I'd say so. Uh, it wasn't too bad just because there's lots of hockey on with, you know, the bubble last year and playoffs and then um, going to be able to watch Marley's games and Leafs games. Um, so just keeping your mind fresh with that, I think uh, played a big part. Next one goes to Joshua Cloak. Go ahead, Joshua. Hey, and what would you say is your biggest focus for the rest of the season? Uh, can you repeat that, please? Sorry, can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I was just wondering, like, what would you say is kind of your biggest focus in terms of improvement for the rest of the season? I think it's just, you know, whenever I get back into a game situation, being able to help the team out. Um, obviously, it's been a while since I've played a game. So I think, you know, the excitement's going to be there and all the nerves. But uh, I mean, main focus is just going out there and giving my all for the team. Have you had to have like extra conversations with, you know, the Leafs coaching staff, the development staff, people behind the scenes to kind of help you again with what Todd alluded to, that kind of mental side of the game? Yeah, definitely. They, they've done a great job being there for me and, you know, being a shoulder to lean on, especially when, you know, things are you know going good and when things are going bad. So um, they've been a huge help through this whole process. And uh, yeah. Two more. Next one goes to Nick Burden. Go ahead, Nick. Hey, Ian, throughout your time with injuries and all that, what would you say is probably the biggest thing you'd take away from all of it? Uh, I think the biggest thing is, you know, every day is going to be a new day. Uh, you know, like I said, some days are going to be good. Some days are going to be bad. And I think you just have to, you know, come to the rink every day with a you know, positive attitude and a fresh kind of look on the day and, and just take it day by day. And last one goes to Kevin McGrann. Go ahead, Kevin. Uh, Jack Campbell is obviously on a, an incredible high right now. And, and he had a lot of struggles early in his career. I wonder if, if you look to him or if you've gotten to know him at all. Uh, as as an inspiration for what uh, what could lie ahead for you? Yeah, obviously when I got uh, called up there for a bit, he he introduced himself right away, and he's such a great guy. So uh, I'm beyond happy about you know the game last night and and him beating the record. And uh, there's lots to learn from watching him and Hutch on the ice, and it was, it was a great learning experience just to be around uh, those guys.